Jason Love here on the road with Shu. What a lot of people don't know about Craig is how much press he does. You know, he wakes up at five in the morning and he'll do you know a couple of radio, a couple of TV, a couple of radio, uh, and he's very good at it. He used to have his own uh, radio show, and he has a kind of a love for what he calls the theater of the mind. But uh, lately, he's been getting a little frustrated with the uh, the ADD culture. And uh, I caught him after he left a radio show uh, recently. Check it out. Is that on? <laughs> I cannot believe what radio is happening to radio. Not only do they have that you know, fear look like you're going to say the wrong words in the context of a joke. In the meantime, they're talking about everybody's sex suit and sex capades, you know, Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, that they can do because it's news. But if you say it as a joke, it's, they have that panic-stricken look on their face. And now they have this new thing where the bean counters from radio have decided that these meters and say somehow that people's attention span is small and that they uh, you have to do quick clips, pre-interviews that they cut and edit. So that one lasted about 30 seconds, that interview. And uh, there's, no, there's no creative art anymore. And creativity is, is, you know, comes from your source and it's storytell and have nuance and everything. And no one has nuance anymore. Why don't, you, why don't you just walk up to people and pound them in the head? Just go pound them in the head. Because that's what people want. They just want this, this constant uh, it's like a, you know, creative violence or something. Hmm. That's what people want instead of just sitting back or actually thinking storytelling and uh, it looks like my goal is going to have to be detoured I'll have to cut my stories up into little tiny pieces because <laughs> God forbid somebody would have to listen for a few minutes even this is too long <laughs> so the first show Sling Blade writes the introduction also for Magic now I'm backstage I just won a couple Emmy Awards I'm all excited I'm coming out here it is this is my introduction, Magic Johnson, and the place is screaming. Mostly urban crowd. Sheila E's the band leader. Oh, oh wow. He's like, he's like, okay, everybody, let's get the show started with my co-host. Now, here's a guy nobody would shower with. Craig Shoemaker. <laughs> <laughs> Shower with me? Yeah, right. This is my intro? Yeah. The first people are going to see me yeah. is a guy nobody would shower with? Hilarious. No one knows who I am. Nobody knows who Craig Shoemaker is. They think I'm a mocker anyway. Yeah. I'm going to come out to this intro. And I did. I walked out. And they made me tell the following joke. And I'm not making this up. So mostly urban crowd. Get this picture. I look okay. like John Boy Walton without the mole. And Magic goes, hey, Craig, how about that Bulls game? I said, Magic, I haven't seen a beating like that caught on tape since Rodney King. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, look at your reaction. Oh, oh no. This is an urban crowd. I'm telling you, the gasp you could have heard in San Diego from Paramount Studios. Oh, no. The gasp. Oh, it was not a laugh. Boo. It was a gasp. Oxygen mask popped out of the ceiling. <laughs>